Hello YouTube and welcome to my first video. Um, I'm going to be doing a series here on uh, building binary systems. Now, this will not be the only thing I'm doing, obviously. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start with the video here. So what I'm going to be showing you today is how to build a adder. And this is going to be a binary adder. Um, it's actually really fast, but this is, this is not the adder. This is the full ALU that the adder is going into. Um, eventually what I'll do is I will do a tutorial video um, hopefully every single week or so on and so forth that will cover basically all of the parts within this um, and all the way to using it as an actual ALU for adding, subtracting, multiplication, division, stuff like that. So anyway, so let's get started. Uh, the basic elements of an adder are two XOR with anded carry. And what that means is you've got two inputs for each XOR. And those show up in the form of this. Get this built off the ground here. And actually, I'm going to build this uh, two wide tileable, which means that it will be able to stack um, without any issues crossing over uh, from side to side. Anyway. Uh, now, what I'm doing here is I am building a very fast XOR. It's a, I believe, a one tick XOR. I think this was designed by Invalid. Um, I cannot be entirely certain on that, but I think it was. Um, anyway, so what it is, is you've got your bottom input right here. This is the B input. And uh, this will um, switch off between states with this right here, this torch, and this repeater. <coughs> and it ties in with the rest of it, which is, whoa, frame rate input here, hold on. What is going on there? Just a moment. Okay, that's better. Um, all right, anyway. So, let's see here. I guess we'll continue from here. I'm getting some awesome artifacts going on here. You guys are going to kill my video card. It's awesome. <coughs> Alright, anyway. So, what the states of an XOR are. Um, if you aren't familiar with an XOR, it stands for Exclusive OR. And it means whenever one of the inputs for the device are on, it will turn on. Um, if A is on, B is off, it will be 1. If B is on, but A is off, it will be 1. If they're both on, it turns off. Anyway, so we've got this, and we need one more XOR in front of us. Now, this right here is close to what you would call a half adder and think about this for a second okay this right here is the carry for this half adder and it says whenever a is on power that or don't power that sorry which will then retract a piston right here. That is that. Okay? And so this will tie into the next part of the carry, which is when B is on. Let's see. I need to move this whole thing up just a moment. Oh, I'm getting some horrific lag. I think I need to invest in a new hard drive. That's fun. All right. So we've got. Wow, broke it. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Sometimes they uh, malfunction. Anyway, 
So this is the second AND. And what this does is it basically comes up into this. Now, both of these combined, um, you know, so that right there says 1. Okay? Now, when you've got two inputs coming in, it's going to cause this, which would basically be the same as this, and would allow the carry to go through. Now, I am building this wrong. Sorry. These need to go on this side, so they are, for all intents and purposes, here on the adder. And that's how the carry works. So, let's see here. Now we've got this right here. And we got to make room for the next XOR. Now, in any adder, there are two XORs. Um, you've got the front half, which is a half adder. And then the second half, this will be whenever there's carried input, it will uh, perform some magic and, and cause things to happen. Things and fun and stuff. So I'll explain it as I build it, I guess. <laughs> All right. So this right here, it basically does not allow uh, carry to propagate back uh, and forward, I guess, if you know there's no data coming this way, down this line. And then this, we've got here, we need you, like those other XOR we built earlier, and you, then this here, and I apologize if I'm building kind of fast. I just want to kind of power through this so my computer doesn't die from the recording. And we've got this here. Okay. And then one final portion of the adder, which is not that, but yeah, no, that. Ignore me, I'm just uh, failing at redstone. Okay, yeah, not that. Okay, no, not that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you really shouldn't watch this tutorial. It will not benefit you much in any way whatsoever. Okay, there we go. And once I'm done with this, I will stack it and then walk you through its features. Okay, so... Right now, we are getting no input because this is not here. Okay, so what we've got here, we have a, uh, a full ladder. We've got our first XOR right here. And this also has the first portion of the carry, the ANDed carry. And this is actually, uh, it's what's considered instant carry. It's about four ticks all together, but by the time this next XOR uh, propagates, or XOR propagates, the instant carry will have carried on to the next one and pretty much happen instantaneously. It's a magical, magical thing. And uh, the way it works is we've got if B and A are on, this will turn on, allow data to pass through here. Okay? Now, obviously, you wouldn't pass the carry in to your own thing. So that's why it has to be the next one. And you'll see it better when I when I actually stack this. I'll make this a 4-bit uh, adder here. All right, so I've got our 4-bit adder here. Now, let's go ahead and take off this first thing because you don't actually need to carry on the first bit. Um, that sort of just happens. Yeah, okay. So what we've got here are four B inputs, four A inputs. And let's go ahead and test it. One plus one equals two. Two plus one should equal three. No? Three plus, one, three plus one equals four, sorry. I don't know binary. I am a scientist and an admin, but I don't know binary. <laughs> All right, so it works. Um, as you can see, the carry 
works wonderfully. Uh, um, as I said before, it's actually four tick. Uh, we'll perform adding, subtracting wonderfully. And the ALU, when it's done, will, as you can see, be not much bigger than this. It just has a few extra added parts that uh, add on all the Boolean functionality. So anyway, thank you for watching my video. Uh, next time I will go through uh, some of the other portions of the ALU and show you how they're made. Um, I am also going to start up a video series that will, I'm not really sure what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be cool. So uh, hopefully you guys watch that. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.